Good day, dear listeners. Welcome back to the Howl Hub podcast, where tales of wonder and tales of adventure meet. I'm your host, Huggable Howler, coming to you from the heart of Canine Haven. Today's episode is truly one for the books. We have a guest whose journey here is as mystical as his very being. Friends, I'm thrilled to introduce Vanxus Belisar, a gem dragonborn druid from the hidden world of Eldoria. Vanxus, it's an absolute honor to have you with us. Your arrival in Canine Haven is already the stuff of legends among the Canoids. Tell us, what mysterious wind or should I say, mystical letter brought you to our doorstep? Thank you for such a warm welcome, Huggable. Indeed, my arrival here was as unexpected to me as it was to your community. It all began with a letter I received in Eldoria, written in a script that resonated with the magic of the ancients. It spoke of Canine Haven and your celebration of nature. As I read the last word, a portal sprang forth from the letter, enveloping me in its light and depositing me here, in your remarkable town. It seems destiny has a way of weaving paths between worlds in the most unexpected ways. That's extraordinary. A letter that acts as a portal? It seems the fates themselves conspired to bring your story to Canine Haven. And we're all ears to hear about your journey, the wonders of Eldoria, and the lessons you bring from the natural world. So, Vanxus, let's start from the beginning. What was it like, Growing up in the magical caverns of Eldoria. Eldoria, my homeland, is a place where the veil between the natural and the arcane is thin. Growing up there was an experience of constant wonder. The caverns themselves are alive, pulsating with gemstone light. As a hatchling, I was drawn to the heartstone, the source of Eldoria's magic. My connection to it was immediate and profound, changing the course of my life forever. The Heartstone sounds like an incredible source of power. How did it influence your path as a druid? The Heartstone is not just a gem, it's a conduit of the Earth's ancient energies. When I first touched it, I felt an infusion of power and knowledge, a deep understanding of the language of nature and the elements. It was then that I realized my purpose, to protect the balance between our world and the ever-encroaching forces that seek to disrupt it. That's a noble purpose, Vanxus. And it's clear that fate has plans for you beyond Eldoria. This mysterious letter, for instance, what do you think it signifies? I believe it's a call to extend my guardianship beyond Eldoria. The challenges we face in preserving the natural world are not confined to one realm. The letter and the portal it opened suggests that there are forces at work seeking to unite different worlds in this common cause. Coming to Canine Haven and participating in your celebration is perhaps the first step in a much larger journey. A journey that we, here in Canine Haven, are eager to learn about and support. Your experience and wisdom are invaluable, Vanxus. Tell us more about your adventures and the lessons you've learned along the way. In the heart of Eldoria, beneath a canopy of iridescent crystals and ancient whispering trees, I first opened my eyes. The world around me was alive with an unseen energy, a symphony of nature and magic that resonated with my very soul. As a hatchling, my days were filled with exploration and discovery, each moment revealing the wonders of Eldoria. The plants and wildlife of Eldoria weren't just part of the landscape, they were my teachers, my companions. I learned the language of the wind, the stories in the stone, the secrets held in the water. This connection was more than instinctual, it felt predestined, as if I were a conduit between the natural world and something greater. It sounds like you were in harmony with your surroundings from the very beginning. How did this connection evolve as you grew older? As I matured, the bond deepened. I began to understand that this affinity was a calling. The day I found the heartstone, everything changed. It was hidden in a secluded cavern, pulsating with a light that seemed to echo the beating of the earth itself. When I touched it, a rush of energy flowed through me, ancient and powerful. It was as if the heartstone recognized me, acknowledged me as its guardian. What an extraordinary moment that must have been. How did this encounter with the heartstone manifest in your abilities? The encounter awakened my druidic powers. I could suddenly understand the language of animals, influence the growth of plants, and tap into the elemental forces of nature. It wasn't just an enhancement of my abilities, it was a transformation. The glowing patterns that appeared on my scales were a testament to this bond, a symbol of my duty to protect and preserve the balance of nature. With such power and responsibility, 
What drove you to venture beyond Eldoria? I realized that protecting Eldoria meant understanding the world beyond it. The Heartstone's energy, while a source of immense power, also attracted those who sought to exploit it. I needed to learn more, to grow stronger. My journey beyond Eldoria was not just a quest for knowledge, but a mission to safeguard the balance of nature everywhere. The call of nature was not just a whisper in my ear, it was a roar in my heart. As I grew in understanding and power, the natural world began to communicate with me in ways I had never imagined. The trees shared their ancient wisdom, the rivers sang of the lands they traveled, and the animals spoke of the balance of life. This communion with nature was more than just a dialogue, it was an awakening. I began to see the threads that connected all living things, the delicate tapestry of life that Eldoria was a part of. My duty as a guardian became clearer with each passing day. I was to be a protector, a steward of this balance. That's a profound connection, Vanxis. How did this shape your understanding of your role as a druid? It solidified my resolve to walk the path of a druid. Druids are more than just wielders of nature's magic, we are its custodians. We understand that every breeze, every ripple in the water, every leaf that falls, plays a part in the greater dance of the natural world. My abilities, granted by the Heartstone, were tools to preserve and protect this harmony. And with such power, what challenges did you face? With great power comes great responsibility, and often great challenge. The Heartstone's energy was a beacon, not just to those who revered nature, but also to those who sought to exploit it. I realized that protecting Eldoria wasn't just about guarding a location, it was about safeguarding the essence of life itself. It became clear that my destiny was not bound to Eldoria alone. The call of nature was leading me elsewhere, to places and challenges unknown. So, it was this call that led you to venture out of Eldoria? Indeed. The world beyond Eldoria beckoned. Not just as a realm to explore, but as a domain that needed a guardian. My journey became one of both protection and discovery. Every step, every encounter, was a lesson in the intricate balance of nature, and the role I was to play in preserving it. The call of nature is not just a summoning, it's an ongoing dialogue, a relationship that grows and evolves. As I traveled beyond the borders of Eldoria, I encountered ecosystems and creatures vastly different from those in my homeland. Each new landscape was a teacher, each creature a guide, offering insights into the diversity and complexity of the natural world. Can you share a particular moment or encounter that stands out in your travels? One moment that remains vivid in my memory is when I stood at the edge of the great Fernwood Forest, a vast expanse of ancient trees and hidden life. There, I met a wise old owl, whose eyes held the depth of the forest's history. Our conversation was not in words, but in a shared understanding. The owl imparted to me a sense of urgency, a warning of the delicate balance teetering on the brink. It was a poignant reminder of the fragility and resilience of nature. That sounds like a powerful encounter. How did it affect your path as a druid? It reinforced my commitment to be a guardian, not just of Eldoria, but of all places where nature's balance is threatened. The wisdom of the owl was a call to action, to use my abilities to heal, protect, and nurture the natural world. It was a turning point that led me to embrace my role, not just as a guardian of a place, but as a guardian of a principle, the principle of life in harmony. Your story, Vanxis, is more than just an adventure, it's a testament to the interconnectedness of all beings and the importance of our stewardship of the natural world. It's inspiring to hear how your journey has shaped you into the guardian you are today. Every step in my journey has been a lesson in humility and responsibility. The natural world doesn't just need protectors, it needs advocates, beings who understand and respect its rhythms and needs. That's what I strive to be, and that's the message I hope to share with all who listen. The realization that my destiny lay beyond the borders of Eldoria marked the start of a profound quest. It was a journey not just of distance, but of spirit and purpose. I knew I had to leave the familiarity of my homeland to understand the broader implications of the Heartstone's power, and to fulfill my role as a guardian of nature. That must have been a significant decision. What drove you to take this step? It was a combination of duty and curiosity. 
the Heartstone, while a source of great power and wisdom, also attracted dark forces that sought to exploit its energy. The more I understood about these threats, the clearer it became that Eldoria's safety was intertwined with the larger world. To protect my home, I needed to understand these forces to learn from other lands and cultures, and to strengthen my abilities as a druid. So, it was both a protective measure and a pursuit of knowledge. What were your first steps as you embarked on this quest? My first step was to seek the counsel of the elders of Eldoria. They shared ancient wisdom and guidance, preparing me for the journey ahead. With their blessings, I stepped through the Heartstone portal, a gateway that would lead me to distant lands, each with its own challenges and lessons. That sounds like an epic beginning to your journey. Can you share some of the challenges and experiences you faced as you ventured into the unknown? Certainly. The challenges were as varied as the landscapes I traversed. I encountered realms where nature was revered and others where it was on the brink of collapse. I faced threats from beings who sought to harness the Heartstone's power for their gain, and met allies who shared my dedication to preserving the natural order. Each experience honed my skills and deepened my understanding of the delicate balance of life. Your journey is a true odyssey, Vanxis. It's not just a tale of adventure but a narrative rich with insights and wisdom. What kept you grounded and focused during your travels? My anchor has always been my duty to the natural world and the teachings of the Heartstone. The quest was more than a journey across lands, it was a journey within. Each challenge, each encounter, was an opportunity to grow, to understand the intricate web of life, and to reaffirm my commitment to protecting it. Every great journey is marked by its challenges and conflicts. Vanxis, you've traversed realms and faced both external and internal trials. Could you share with us some of the significant challenges you encountered? Indeed, my travels were not without their hardships. One of the earliest and most significant challenges was the confrontation with those who sought the Heartstone for their dark purposes. They were beings who saw the Heartstone not as a sacred object, but as a tool for power and domination. Protecting it required not just strength, but also wisdom and discernment. That sounds perilous. How did you navigate such threats? It was a delicate balance. On one hand I had to be a guardian, ready to defend. On the other, I sought to educate and enlighten, to show these beings the true purpose and responsibility that comes with such power. There were times of conflict, but also moments of understanding. It was a constant test of my beliefs and my commitment to the balance of nature. Apart from external threats, did you face any personal conflicts or dilemmas during your journey? Certainly. One of my most significant internal struggles was the temptation to use the Heartstone's power for personal gain. The more I understood its capabilities, the more I realized how easy it could be to overstep my bounds. It was a constant vigil to maintain humility and to remember that my powers were for preservation and balance, not for personal elevation or control. That's a profound insight, Vanxis. It's clear your journey has been as much about self-discovery as it has been about protecting Eldoria. How have these challenges shaped you? They have made me more aware of the complexities of power and responsibility. Each challenge has been a lesson in understanding the interconnectedness of all things and the impact of my actions. They've strengthened my resolve to be a vigilant protector of the natural world and a guardian who leads with wisdom and empathy. Listeners, as we continue our journey with Vanxis Belisar, we come to a pivotal aspect of his life his role as the protector of balance. Vanxis, this title, it's not just a name, it's a responsibility, a mission. Can you elaborate on what being the protector of balance means to you? Being the protector of balance is a role that transcends mere title. It's an embodiment of my life's purpose. The natural world exists in a state of delicate equilibrium, a balance that is constantly under threat from various forces. My role is to safeguard this balance, to ensure that the harmony between the arcane and the natural, the mystical and the mundane, is maintained. That sounds like an enormous responsibility. How do you approach such a monumental task? 
It is indeed a daunting responsibility, but one that I approach with both humility and determination. The key is understanding that I am but a part of a larger system. My actions, whether they involve direct intervention or guiding others towards respect for nature, are aimed at preserving the intricate web of life. It involves constant vigilance, a readiness to act, and, most importantly, a deep understanding of the natural world and its needs. Your journey has undoubtedly put you in situations where maintaining this balance was challenging. Can you share an instance where your role as protector of balance was put to the test? One such instance was in the great marshlands of Thera. The community there was on the brink of ecological collapse due to unsustainable practices. The marshlands were dying, and with them, the unique creatures and plants that called it home. My role was not just to intervene, but also to educate, to help the community understand the consequences of their actions, and to guide them towards sustainable practices. It was a challenging task, but seeing the marshlands slowly return to life was a testament to the power of balance and harmony. That's a powerful example of the difference one being can make. Vanxis, as we near the end of our time today, what message do you hope to leave with our listeners, both canoids and others? My message is one of unity and respect for the natural world. We all have a role to play in maintaining the balance of nature. It's not just the duty of druids or guardians, but of every creature. Respect for life in all its forms, understanding the impact of our actions, and working together to preserve the harmony of the world, these are the principles I stand for and wish to share. Vanxis, your journey is not just a tale of magic and nature, it's a source of inspiration and a treasure trove of possibilities for our listeners, many of whom are adventurers and storytellers themselves. Let's talk about how your story, with its rich tapestry of experiences, can enrich any campaign and spark the imagination of those looking to weave their own tales. I am honored if my journey can serve as a source of inspiration. For those who tread the path of storytelling and adventure, there are many facets of my life that can enrich your narratives. The discovery of the heartstone, the struggle to balance power and responsibility, and the journey beyond the familiar, each of these can be a starting point for your own stories. Absolutely, Vanxis. Your experiences with the heartstone, for example, offer a compelling plot hook the discovery of a powerful artifact and the responsibilities it brings. And your role as the protector of balance that's a theme that can resonate in many campaigns. Exploring the consequences of disrupting or restoring natural harmony. Indeed, the themes of balance, harmony, and the interplay between nature and magic are universal. They can be woven into various narratives, whether as central themes or as underlying currents. The conflicts I faced, both internal and external, the alliances formed, and the lessons learned can serve as rich narrative elements for any campaign. And let's not forget the diversity of environments you've traversed. From the gemstone caverns of Eldoria to the great marshlands of Thera, each setting offers unique challenges and adventures. These can be adapted into diverse backdrops for campaigns, providing a vivid landscape for characters to explore. Exactly. Huggable. The settings themselves are characters in their own right, each with its own story to tell. Incorporating such diverse environments into your narratives can add depth and richness to your adventures. And for those who wish to delve into character development, my journey of self-discovery, the struggle with temptation, and the growth into a guardian role offer avenues to explore complex character arcs. Listeners, whether you're a seasoned storyteller or just beginning your journey, Vangsus's story is a wellspring of inspiration. It's a reminder of the power of narrative, the importance of balance, and the endless possibilities that await in the realm of imagination. Vangsus, I can't thank you enough for sharing your journey with us today. But before we wrap up, dear listeners, let me wag my tail in excitement as I give you a sneak peek at what's coming up on the next episode of the Howl Hub podcast. Next week, we'll be diving into a tale that's a little closer to home but no less thrilling. We'll be exploring the mysterious legend of the Moonlit Howl, a story that has echoed through the streets of Canine Haven for generations. They say that on certain moonlit nights, a haunting howl can be heard resonating through the town, a howl that's not quite of this world. Is it a call from the beyond, a forgotten song of an ancient canoid, or something else entirely? We'll be joined by Luna Posley, a local historian and enthusiast of Canine Haven's folklore 
who promises to shed light on this enduring mystery. So, sharpen your ears and tune in next week for an episode that's sure to send shivers down your spine and maybe, just maybe, reveal a secret or two about our beloved town. It's an episode you won't want to miss. As we wrap up today's episode, I want to extend a huge thank you to Vanksis Belisar for sharing his incredible journey with us. To our listeners, I hope this tale inspires you to explore the mysteries of your world, to protect the balance of nature, and to embark on your own quests of discovery. Until next time, keep howling at the moon and seeking out the magic in the world around you. This is Huggable Howler, signing off. Stay curious, stay adventurous, and stay tuned for more tales and tales from Canine Haven. Goodbye, and good luck on your journeys.